Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more Kickstarter crap. Today, the piece of crap that we're going to look at is called Helixia, the first game application and auction, and most likely the last game application and auction. <laughs> Whoa, hold on a minute. I came here for the game application and auction. I didn't come here for the softcore porn of the same woman wearing different wigs trying to portray different ethnicities and grinding up against the local flora and fauna. What the fuck are you trying to sell? Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Raul Velez. I am the director of Original Photo Design as well as the executive director for Helixia, the game and auction. Helixia truly is a unique application. I have had the opportunity to travel around the world with design specialists and visual specialists to create Helixia. From design, idea, to creation, everything about Helixia is real. There will be no CGI, no animation. If you see a background of the Grand Canyon, it is the Grand Canyon. If you see a background of the Canals of Venice, it is the Canals of Venice. You can't do this. You just can't fucking do it, all right? You can't transition from a softcore porn preview to a I'm going to talk to the camera like an Apple employee uh, giving a talk about my revolutionary new application and technology. You can't fucking do it. Buongiorno signore e signore, mi presento Sonia Matentela, direttrice di Helixia. Tutto quello che si presenta su questo gioco è stato composto in modo unico dall'inizio alla fine. Who the fuck is making these decisions? Someone's got to be making these decisions. They're a complete fuckwit, whoever it is. God and all shits. Why are you going to give the wig, bitch? Wearing another wig, in fact. Uh, speaking in front of a terrible fucking background. You just got done saying how... Oh, all the backgrounds in Helixia are going to be the real backgrounds. But yeah, no fucking shit. No one, no one's going to fake a picture of the fucking Statue of Liberty behind them, nor the Canals of Venice. Uh, they're just going to get pictures of the Canals of Venice. Because why the fuck would you recreate something that already fucking exists? You guys are dog shit insane, is what you are. Prima penso la storia. Creo el dipinto que me imagino e scelgo la modella. Poi organizza tutto quello che si presenta sulla fotografia finale. Tutto è abbinato perfettamente con il disegno. Anche i sfondi sono scelti tutti in modo unico. They're not saying anything. They're not saying what this is. They're not saying what the fuck their product is. I'm going to design a full featured experience for you to enjoy in your home today. What the fuck did I just say? Maybe it sounded like a whole lot of awesomeness. No, that was a whole lot of bullshit, and that's exactly what I'm getting from these people. Afterwards, I choose all the remaining components presented in the final image. They're creating a final image? So I can view an image? They're giving me images? Fucking images? Sono le fotografie classici che ci vediamo dappertutto. È un gioco originale e reale con i tanti dettagli. Più ogni mese la opzione mondiale, e questo è il punto che fa il gioco unico. Why in the seven hells would you make this decision? It doesn't make any sense. Have the Italian lady speak for half the time. More than half the time. It doesn't make any sense. This is for an American audience. Why the fuck would you do this? It's retarded. Not to mention... Oh wow, I paused it at a, at a great moment. The point of Helixia the game is to win the trophy room. What is the trophy room? <laughs> wow, it is an amazingly beautiful collection of imagery and photos that you're sure to want to win. But there's only one way to get there, and that's to fill your main gallery. 
The point of Helixie the game is to win the trophy room. What is the trophy room? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. The trophy room is an amazing experience, like no other, with beautiful imagery and experiences like you've never seen before. The key is to not say quite anything specific. That way, you're able to get away with fucking anything. There's only one way to get there, and that's to fill your main gallery. I've been seeing a lot of camel toe in this Kickstarter project. Oh, damn. You play the game by choosing one image, and then you play for that image. If you win that image, it goes into a virtual library. And then you do it again and again, filling your main library with a specified number of images. Ranking it? Is it ranking images? Are you you're, you're putting a score on the image, and then you play to win that image? What do you play? How do you play? Is there a game involved at all, or is the game rate uh, this the wig chick? Rate the wig chick what you think on this particular non photoshopped picture, and uh, decide. Oh, is it a 69 out of 100? And then you'll win it? In your... <laughs> Once your collection is complete in the main gallery, it unlocks the doors to your trophy room. And that's where the beauty just simply explodes. The imagery is beyond anything imaginable. It's beautiful, it's rich, it's, a, it's luxurious. It really is some beautiful imagery that we have there that's ready for you to view. But you must play the game in order to find out what it is. We have to play the game to find out. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my gosh. The joke's really on him though because we know it's in the trophy room. He just showed it to us. It's a gold room with softcore porn all over the walls. And then at the end of it, uh, softcore porn of the same woman, mind you. And then at the end of the hallway, you get the uh, Egyptian wig lady with, you know, a hand arm bra. And uh, she's got a photoshopped headdress on. Really just stunning imagery. It's it's just gonna knock your fucking socks off. The auction is gained by purchasing the game itself and gives you a personalized ID number. Every month we're gonna issue a collection of three images that you get to bid online live against the world. So you bid for these if you so choose. And that's another nice addition to this. Oh! Oh, it's a nice little addition. Oh, that's a nice little addition. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that little bit of frosting on my cake. I really needed that. It's a nice little addition for me to pay for your application to then pay more for pictures that cost you approximately zero and you were just doing anyway because that was your fucking vacation. You fucking fuckwits. I, ca I can't even call them fuckwits. That's too nice of a word. You fucktards. So you bid for these if you so choose. And that's another nice addition to this here, is that not only do you have collections that you can keep for your own personal use. For your own personal use? Oh my gosh, dude. Just say it, just say it. For, uh, I don't know, jerking the gherkin, flogging the dolphin, massaging the mole rat, popping the pixie stick, uh, marinating the meat pole maybe. To date, we have about five to six hundred images that we can use in Helixia. Now we could begin the game with this number here, but we can make it much more beautiful and much more grand with your support. We would like to actually take the images to 1,000 or more. We have about 500 images. We'd like to take it to 1,000 and more. This guy has no fucking concept of the numbers of images in a porn gallery. All right, dude, you're going to need to take that shit up to a million to even compete with what the internet has to offer me. Why, Helixia? Let me show you. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is this shit? They're just showing the same fucking pictures over again. Oh, I like spaghetti. That's good that you have that in there. I love spaghetti. Helixia, collect, enjoy, and see you at auction. And action.
Okay, so I have a lot of questions. Uh, first question, why is she eating a pizza, an entire pizza, by herself? Um, also, I think it would be easier to eat slice by slice. That seems very inefficient. Um, I will also say that she probably shouldn't be standing up eating a pizza, especially an entire pizza like that. I think it would be easier to you know, put it on a table and sort of just push it in your mouth maybe. Uh, thirdly, uh, why does she need a wig now? Who is she portraying now? Uh, cause that's, that's clearly a wig. Um, it's not her normal hair color. Uh, now I'm wondering, is she bald? She must be bald. Uh, because surely there's no other reason why would she, why she'd be wearing a wig right now. There's no other fucking reason. Why? Is, is your video going to be any less shittier or any more shittier if she's not wearing that wig? Possibly if she's bald. I mean, I would say that would, that would, you might be geniuses at that point. Now, I could probably watch this video all day long, but there's other elements of the Kickstarter project that we should probably critique. Uh, for instance, every time you see the Helixia logo, it is accompanied by a big black signature over it, as if they want to, I don't know, uh, imply that they are somehow official or legit by adding a fucking giant-ass signature over it. The reward tiers are exactly as absurd as you might imagine. Uh, the $1 tier gets you one picture. The $15 tier gets you 10 pictures. Oh, but you also get the mobile application. So really, you're paying $15 for a fucking application. And then uh, if you go down more, you're going to find more fucking signatures over everything and uh, extremely repetitive use of this gold ribbon that says VIP. What I noticed looking through this Kickstarter project was that there was a big emphasis on using real backgrounds, real live locations, and uh, using no Photoshop or 3D rendering or any sort of camera tricks. Uh, so, you know, it begs the question, do guys really give a shit about whether you have a fake or live or real background? Uh, I'm pretty sure that a guy who's jerking it to a babe who's posing in front of Machu Picchu isn't going to be any less fervent in his jerking if it's the real or fake thing. In closing, I would like to say that this was one of the few Kickstarter projects in recent time that I felt 100% legit in criticizing because it was top to bottom bad and uh, there is no arguing that fact. So uh, yeah, there's no, there's really no reason I need to explain why this Kickstarter project was crap. It was all laid out there very clearly. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I could probably even do a part two on this on this Kickstarter project because I don't even think I scratched the surface. Thank you so much for watching. Remember Facebook, Twitter, YouTube.com, slash iDubsTV. And remember to tune in next time when I lay on a bed of lilies. I hope you guys enjoyed. Want to touch my face, but I'm not going to. I'm going to touch your face. If you don't mind, you okay with me touching your face? I hope you're okay with this.